What is going on YouTube? Hey, I'm back making another brand of crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at Dudex as well as the current coin market cap. Specifically, in today's episode, I want to continue discussing the recent correction and reversal pattern that is starting to form within cryptocurrency. I also want to talk about the S&P 500, as we don't usually talk about that. Um, but we are going to be looking at Dudex and some of the other cryptos. Specifically, like I said, there is some very interesting patterns forming. Obviously, there's uh, formations of a double top. And there's formations of shooting star uh, patterns. We're hitting resistances. Things aren't necessarily looking good for the market to head up higher, but it doesn't necessarily mean we can't profit off of these trades. We can easily profit off of trades in the event that we correct lower. We can obviously just short the market and make quite a bit of money off of it. So um, obviously, you can see the very interesting movements that are forming on most of these charts right here. Looking at Ethereum now, we have XRP, and then we even have the S&P 500, which is incredibly at all time highs. We are at all time highs as we speak. And it just is very, very, very odd. I don't know. But we'll talk about that today as well. Otherwise, if you guys are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. This does help out the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to follow me on Twitter, Crypto V Official, and let's jump into today's video. All right, so yesterday I made this video. I said, are you seeing this double top formation? Um, clearly on XRP, there is what appears to be a double top, which ultimately, if you are in any way, shape or form part of cryptocurrency and understand the way the markets move, uh, there's a clear resistance right here. This is double tops mean reversal. They mean rejection. They mean correction. And we've looked at these cryptocurrencies. You can see for the most part, the markets are down as per usual. And as they are down, now we can see that in most of these cryptocurrencies, they are starting to show signs of rejection and a reversal coming. So I think Litecoin is probably the harder one to judge. The, I just drew a resistance, ultimately finding points of strength and weakness, points of support and, and resistance. And I found this right here. So that's what I drew on as its point of resistance, and it's followed it pretty well. Uh, you know, don't don't get me wrong; it's it's doing it's doing really well, and it is above its moving average. But it does seem that this resistance is a bigger uh, area of rejection. So it seems like the markets are starting to correct lower from then. Um, because of this, it's interesting to see. It kind of looks like a shooting star. Hard to point out specifically on Litecoin because we don't have solid thick candle wicks all the way up. Obviously, it is some sort of bull run, but it's not you know this solid thick pattern to the upside, which isn't necessarily a problem. Now, you don't have to trade Litecoin. There are plenty of other cryptos. Like I said, we pretty much use these top ten or these top four cryptocurrencies as a way to gauge where exactly most of the market is headed. Uh, you can see right now on. Uh, Bitcoin that after we zoomed out, we saw that there was some sort of resistance right here. I'm trying to get my hair correct. I didn't even get time to do it today. It's like flopping over. Um, there was some sort of resistance. We noticed um, kind of at the top here and we kind of put it where the wicks were previously. Uh, these wicks kind of represented overall market as well. But you can see that we're retesting overbought. We're not in overbought. We're retesting it. And this has more solid and thick candles like I was discussing on Bitcoin. And this is a very clear and obvious um, shooting star formation. The only reason that gives us doubt is obviously this bullish cross that did form. But just because we have this cross doesn't necessarily mean we're not going to see maybe some correction to the downside. A pull lower that would uh, let the coin kind of consolidate more before it decided to shoot up higher. And obviously, we could trade with this on Dudex. Dudex has been there for a very long time, and it has proven itself over and over and over again um, to be very efficient in what it does. Obviously, buying long and selling short on Bitcoin specifically is kind of what I've been doing the past couple of months. And ultimately, just this sign of rejection. What I'm going to do is wait for this candle to close. Today is Sunday. That means that there's no more than I would say 12 hours left in this candle. We can see it right here. After these 12 hours end, we're going to see which way the candle starts to form. There's a very good chance it's going to start to correct lower. And that would be a great time to jump into the market and start trading. So obviously, definitely make sure to be signed up to Dudex because that is how you're going to be making profit off of here. Obviously, my trades that I make on Dudex are posted on my Patreon. So definitely make sure to check that out as well. 
but there is a link in the description to both of these specifically dudex as well because you want to get ready and you want to prepare yourselves for the movement when it does come and the fact that the market is showing signs of rejection and correction to the downside may indicate a reversal now we've we've seen it before this was a bullish flag or pennant flag that did break bullish obviously nobody was anticipating it um but you know we capitalized off the, the volume anyway and now that we are seeing some sort of reversal shooting star pattern if we do decide to get reject uh to get rejected by uh the price up top there's a good chance we could capitalize off a short just by clicking this and leverage and creating it to the downside very easily um moving on from bitcoin you can see ethereum and xrp i think mainly ethereum and xrp are what we should be focused more so xrp due to the very interesting formation it's had on not only its weekly but on its daily as well obviously on its weekly you can see it is a clear-cut resistance and a clear-cut rejection obviously getting above resistance is an extremely difficult task uh you know seeing it that we haven't retested or we've ha we have retested the moving average multiple times and we've always been rejected the fact that we are about to enter overbought the fact that we're hitting resistance and the fact that there's a double top on the daily are all big signs of correction to the downside so you guys have to be fairly aware of that let me know in the comments down below what you think but this is an obvious sign of a reversal and obviously if it's going to happen with xrp good chance it's going to happen with bitcoin as well so you guys should be preparing yourselves for the reversal pattern that will probably end or start to begin probably tomorrow to be honest with you the end of today um but i don't you know you can't make this up this is a clear double top pattern uh it, I don't know how else to explain it. I mean, this is a perfect double top pattern. It is a clear cut sign of a reversal. Like, I don't know how else you want to look at this. We have the first peak, the second peak, the neckline, we break lower. We retest the resistance that or the support, then we break lower. That is exactly what is happening right now as we speak on XRP. This is a bearish sign. So ultimately, I think this is a great time to be buying in because this is exactly what we're experiencing as I'm talking. And you know, it's not gonna last long. It's gonna be quick, but it is a great opportunity to capitalize off the possible rejection and correction back down to about 22 cents within XRP. And I'll make a bet there's a very high chance the market is going to be pulling all the way down to this level right here so take it you know take take the time down you know it's 7 48 a.m on august 23rd there's a very good chance we are going to reverse back down to this bottom support over here now definitely make sure to be paying attention to that as well as ethereum as ethereum is starting to get rejected for most of the other uh resistances price resistance and reversals as this coin was extremely overbought and as the rest of the market starts to pull itself down with it so is ethereum now lastly i want to spend some time looking at the s p 500 this is incredible not only is there a bearish divergence we have prices moving up and the correction going downwards and i'll pull up a bearish divergence for anyone that forgot about it or is new to the channel you can see this is what it is that i'm referring to and i'll move this over here so a bearish divergence is uh, an example is when the RSI trends lower while the prices trend higher it usually ends in a reversal in the price and the price starts to drop. So notice these three times prices move up and then the RSI moves down. Prices move up, RSI moves down. Prices move up, RSI moves down. Same thing is happening with the S&P 500. So, I mean, if we just drew it on super quickly for you guys to clearly reference what it is that we're doing, we'll make this... I guess yellow, that's a good color. You can see prices are moving up, boom and boom for the most part. And the RSI is moving down, boom and boom. So this is a very obvious pattern. Hopefully you guys can clearly tell what it is that we're referring to. The uh, the price moves up, the RSI moves down. It's a reversal. It's a signal of a bearish correction. It is a bearish divergence, uh, which is pretty much what I've been trying to explain for a very long time. Not only to mention that we are now at all time highs, we've never been this high in the market. I think we're just about higher than when we were uh, before at all time highs. This is a great signal of a bearish divergence. There's eight days and nine hours left for this coin to pretty much make up its mind. But I mean, I am going to be making a video where I actually uh, sell out of here. I don't think you can short money 
or short crypto or short money in your uh, in your what the hell is it called in your Roth IRA? Can you short in a Roth? IRA. I don't know if you can. You also can short stocks with in Roth IRAs. Short selling occurs when an investor borrows on margin of stock, betting that its price will decline. Roth and traditional IRAs are a way for investors to save and invest long term towards retirement tax and not make a quick profit. So yeah, he's got some point, but I do think you can play around with the coins that you own and the coins that you don't or the stocks you own and the stocks you don't. But I do believe even if you want to short the market right now, good chance we're going to see this dump very soon. Uh, otherwise, guys, that's going to wrap up today's video. If you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up, follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.